G'day everybody and welcome to another video, <clears throat> excuse me, and in this video I'll be showing you how to install the latest or leak or beta build of the Google Play Edition Android L for the HTC One M8. Uh, we will, I'll show you how to do that and I'll give you my first impressions I guess. So, uh, first off in the description, the first link will have a zip file with all the uh, Android files that you need including the Android debug bridge or the adb.exe and the fastboot and all that. So just make a folder on your C drive, name it Android uh, with a capital A if you want, and place all those uh, five files in there. And that is the first step that you guys need to do. Uh, excuse me for any background noise that you guys may hear in the video. Uh, it is a bit noisy outside. So first off, I'll provide a link to the official uh, the XDA forum uh, link for, uh, for Sky Dragon. Uh, 4.0.3.1, which is the Android L release, and you'll also need to download the um, Phil's Touch uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, that is 6.25, so the very first one, you'll need to download that, so I'll go ahead and download that first, uh, we'll let that wait 10 seconds, so back to the main XDA page, you'll also need to um, download the ROM itself, so Mega Upload uh, is fast for me, because I live in Australia, uh, so that's good. Well, they might just turn up the brightness a bit. Uh, just make sure you just save the recovery image right here. And uh, make sure you save it in the Android folder that has all the other files in it. So C drive Android. Uh, just save it there. It should only take a few seconds. And the Google Play Edition 5.0 here, uh, uh, Sky Dragon, is 663 megabytes. Just hit download to your computer. And all you have to do is wait for that to download. And while all those are downloading, we'll just have a quick read of the notes here. Um, before we start, you should be on the latest Sense 4.4.4 firmware. Uh, not necessarily the ROM, but you should be up to the latest uh, version that you can possibly get. And they recommend 4.4.4. So, um, if you are already on the Google Play Edition, you have to, um, or you should go back to the... Uh, Sense firmware. Um, I think that's what it says. If you're currently converted to 4.4.4 Google Play Edition, uh, this firmware is mandatory. So yeah, if you're anything else but um, but the uh, Sense firmware, you must flash the Sense firmware back on. And this is the stock um, firmware. If, for whatever reason, you're not on the latest firmware, 4.4.4 Sense, then you can just simply download this one and you'll be able to um, flash that in the bootloader. So I might show you this if um, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. But yeah, this is the a modded firmware as well. Uh, depends on, I guess, where you're from, what location you are, and titanium backup for Android L. We don't need to worry about those right now. I'll just stick with the ROM because my phone is on the Sense 4.4.4 firmware. But if not, make sure you have S off and that you flash this firmware first and then flash a recovery and then flash the ROM so once all the downloads are finished downloading um, I'll get back to you guys so when you get this prompt uh, just make sure you save it in the same place so the Android folder on your C drive uh, just leave the file name as it is so now that's uh, finished downloading uh, we'll go ahead with the installation now so bring up your Android folder here uh, in C drive just wait for the camera to focus and what you want to do is hold shift and right click and then select the open command window here uh, button and I'll just make this uh, right in the middle so you can see uh, I'll zoom in too now oh, actually before I do that so guys you want to plug in your phone into your computer boot it up into Android and make sure you have an external SD card in which you will copy the Snapdragon it's not Snapdragon uh, Sky Dragon ROM onto your external card so just drag it over there so it copies uh, with the MTP file transfer, this should only take uh, like a few minutes at most. So I'll be back when all the copying is done. Uh, you'll need to make sure you have all the drivers installed and that fastboot and preferably ADB are working properly on your device. So right now you want to power off your phone. Uh, we'll just give that a sec, wouldn't take too long. And now you want to hold the volume down and power button at the same time. Uh, just like 3 seconds. And you should pop up with the um, bootloader. Now select fastboot using the power button, and now when fastboot is red, plug your phone in to your computer, and it should say fastboot USB. 
Now let it install drivers if it does, uh, but you should install drivers before we continue. I'll be sure to note that down. Uh, so HDC drivers, very important for the bootloader access. And just before you start flashing all this, give it a run through the bootloader, uh, type in fastboot devices, make sure it's all there. And once it's there, uh, we can start um, flashing all the components. I should zoom back out. Okay, so keep this to a side and make sure you have the window open. Now on this side, we are going to type in fastboot uh, flash recovery uh, space. Uh, leave space on the end of recovery, and then drag in the fills touch uh, image into onto the window, the command window. And you should see how the full file path is uh, put down. Just hit enter, and this will flash the recovery to your device. Uh, so just give it a few seconds. Oh, well, look there, done. So now we go back to our device and just press uh, the power button to select HBoot and then press uh, uh, volume down once and make sure it's selected the recovery and then press uh, power and this will enter the fills recovery and yep. Now once you're in the fills uh, recovery, uh, go over to wipe data factory reset and then select clean to install a new ROM. Uh, tap yes, and this will clear out all the cache data and necessary uh, partitions for a new ROM install. So once all this is done, uh, just tap anywhere, and then tap on install zip, choose zip from SD card 1, and that should bring up the external SD card, and you should see the ROM that we copied, so the SD plus GPE, GPE 500, so that is the Sky Dragon. Tap yes to install. And we should be greeted with the Aroma Installer. Yep. Okay. So it's got our Android L background. I'll just zoom out a little bit. So here it says um, you're about to flash the Sky Dragon Google Play Edition, version 4.03. Agree with the terms and conditions. Uh, this is just a change log. Hit next. Perform a full wipe. Uh, just do what they recommend here. Uh, let's just say Australia. That's where I am. And. Uh, select apps that you want to add. So I really don't care at the moment. Uh, maybe the battery monitor, and that's about it. I don't, I don't need that. And Google apps that you want to remove. So just choose all the ones that you don't want. Uh, really, this will take a sec. Wallet. All right. So we can DPI, we'll just change and leave it at stock. Uh, leave it the stock font. I like everything pretty much close to stock. And tap to install. And we get this nice installation screen. So this is uh, wiping stuff, removing old system files, um, put, putting the new system files in, and copying like each individual application. So I'll be back when this is finished. So that's about it. That only took, I only had to um, pause there for like two minutes. So tap next. Finish, and we'll reboot the phone now. So we'll see if the Wi-Fi works, of course, um, first off. Uh, if not, then I'll guide you guys through flashing the firmware anyway. But it's, it is as simple as rebooting your phone back into the bootloader and typing a few commands that I'll list in the uh, more info down below if you do encounter the problem. Uh, that's if I don't. Uh, we'll just see how this phone, uh, how ROM boots up first. So now we're greeted with the new uh, 5.0 uh, lollipop uh, in setup screen, which is really new. I haven't uh, actually physically played with lollipop before, but this looks pretty promising. So I guess we'll go through. Um, I don't have any service. Uh, the SIM card I put in my note for taking it of the week, the week run. So right now we can definitely see all the material stuff that's going on, and the Wi-Fi indeed does work. I'll just quickly type in the Wi-Fi password. Alright, so it does connect, or it's connecting, I probably typed in the password wrong. But as you can see, the Wi-Fi works fine, as long as you're on the latest firmware from Sense. And this is pretty much the closest taste we have, if not the exact same taste, of Lollipop and our 1M8. Uh, and the Google Play Edition, the official um, over the update, uh, should be released in about a week or so. So if you really don't want to try this uh, kind of beta stuff out. It's not very beta, I think it's quite well polished already. Uh, if you don't want to go uh, for this jump, just uh, remember in a week's time uh, we should be able to download the full ROM or RUU for uh, the 
Google Play Edition. So, right now it's just checking the connection, but my internet's really slow, so I think I'll skip ahead to uh, when it's actually pretty much done. So it's finally connected, and um, so there's a tap and go, quickly copy Google accounts, backdrop apps. So this is a new thing, and I actually might try this out just to uh, demo something. I'll get my Note 4 here and turn it on. So it also had a nice uh, boot up animation along with it. So we'll see how this works, or if this works uh, fine. Although this is uh, Android L, I'm just gonna call it Android L, Lollipop and KitKat. So we'll see if there are any concerns. So my NFC should be on. 1 p.m., right. NFC, NFC. On, right. So let's try this. So now on here we have a, note, uh, a message saying Bluetooth will use your device to lock itself and must be unlocked again. Okay. So locked and I've got to unlock. And on here it's also uh, doing its thing. Unlock your other device. So I don't know if that's a security measure. Which is actually pretty cool. So if someone stole your phone and left it on. So also here it says new device setup complete. Uh, if I just pull that down. And also tells you. So this is some new stuff. And it's going to say just a sec. More like a minute. And it reads a new HTC One M8 was set up on Saturday 15 November. Uh, this time using this device. Uh, included attempt to transfer accounts uh, and both my emails. So that's pretty cool. So kind of seamless uh, to copy our accounts over, so you don't have to sign in. So we can use uh, backup, well our backups, I really don't want to use, I'll set up as a new device, providing it is Lollipop, and hit next, backup, yep, uh, hit more, and then next, uh, a few more seconds, and we should be on our way to Lollipop goodness, this is Google now, yes I'm in. I'll give this a moment to... Alrighty, so we have a nice green on red background. But the green's a bit ewy. Um, got it. And this is it so far. Our marvelous material design and slick and fluid animations. This is actually really cool. So uh, I'll go around and play with this and I'll let you know my thoughts in a, another quick video that's coming up. So this is all of the Android L goodness. And this will be my daily driver for now. So, I'm just going to change wallpaper. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching again. And I uh, hope you do like this video. Uh, if you need any help, just feel free to leave it down in the comments. Uh, I do respond to most help uh, messages. Unless I'm exceptionally busy, which I should not be. So, go ahead, guys. Um, and also play the, um, the, what do you call that? Uh, I'm lost for words now. The East Egg. So, Thank you guys for watching here, and I hope you guys, um, I don't know, it worked for you guys. Let me know if it didn't. I'll gladly help you, like I said, and I'll definitely, um, no oh god, I'm not good at these games, am I? So yeah, I'll definitely be posting more videos uh, like this, including the official coverage of uh, the official Android L for Google Play Edition. I'll show you how to install that as well, and also um, give... A few more Note 4 videos coming up. So, since I can never pass one, let's see if I can do it. Yep, okay, so thank you guys for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.